Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the fourth lecture in trigonometrical leveling. In the base of the object in accessible method and in single plane method, we are going to see the third case. Instrument axis at the station nearer to the object is higher. Let us assume that this object is a tower. Let us keep this point as Q in the top of the tower. We need to find the reduced level of the top of the tower. Let us select a point P. In that point, let us install a theodolite. P dash is the vertical projection of the point P along the horizontal axis of the telescope in the theodolite. We need to make a horizontal projection like this. And from the point Q, we have to make a vertical projection let us keep this point as Q dash. Let us keep the horizontal distance between P and Q as D. And let us keep the height of Q, Q dash as H1. In the benchmark, we have to keep a staff. From the station P, we have to take the staff reading. Let us keep the staff reading as S1. From the station P, we have to focus at the top of the tower and we have to take the reading of vertical angle alpha 1. We need to have one more station. Let us keep the station in the point R. We need to install the theodolite there. R dash is the vertical projection of R. In the station R along the horizontal axis of the theodolite, we have to make a horizontal projection. Let us keep this point as Q double dash. Let us keep the height of Q Q double dash as H2. We have to measure the horizontal distance between the stations R and P. Let us keep the distance as D. From the station R, we have to focus at the top of the tower and we have to take the reading of vertical angle alpha 2. From the station R, we have to see the staff in the benchmark. Let us keep the staff reading as S2. Station P is the nearer station to the object. The instrument axis at the station P is higher than the instrument station at R. That is why it is known as instrument axis at the station nearer to the object is higher. All the reading related with the station P should be mentioned with the suffix 1. That is why the angle is alpha 1, the height is h1 and the staff reading is s1. All the readings related with the station R should be mentioned with the suffix 2. That is why here we have alpha 2, the height is h2 and the staff reading is s2. This height should be equal to s2 minus s1 let us keep that as yes and yes will be equal to h2 minus h1. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us apply tan theta formula. We know that tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. Here the opposite side is h1 and the adjacent side is d. So tan alpha 1 will be equal to H1 upon D, we can take D on the other side. It will come in the numerator. So H1 will be equal to D tan alpha 1. Now let us take the big triangle. In this triangle, let us apply tan theta formula. Tan alpha 2 will be equal to the opposite side H2 upon the adjacent side D plus D. So it will be H2 upon D plus D. We can take D plus D on the other side. So it will come in the numerator. So for H2, it will be D plus D into tan alpha 2. Let us subtract H1 by H2. H2 minus H1 will be this one minus this one. Also, we know that H2 minus H1 will be equal to S. So instead of H2 minus H1, we can apply S. Yes. We can multiply tan alpha 2 with this term so that we will get these two terms. 
we can take these two terms on the other side so they will come with the change of the signs we can take s yes on the other side so it will come as negative from these two terms we can take d outside then we can take this on the other side so it will come in the denominator this is the formula to find the distance d in this one instead of d we can apply this so that we will get this expression and in this one instead of d we can apply this so that we will get this for these two terms we can take lcm we need to multiply this with a d so that we will get these two terms we can eliminate d tan alpha 2 finally for h2 we will get this expression using this formula we can find the distance d using this one we can find h1 and using this one we can find h2 now let us see how to find the reduced level of top of the tower that is the point Q. There are two methods. Let us see the first one. First, we need to add the reduced level of the benchmark with the stuff reading S1. So, we will be in this line. To get the top of the tower, we have to add H1. So, the reduced level of Q will be the reduced level of benchmark plus S1 plus H1. Let us see the second method. First, with the reduced level of the benchmark, we have to add the staff reading S2. So, we will be in this line. Then, to get the top of the tower, we have to add H2. So, it will be reduced level of benchmark plus S2 plus H2. Now, let us do a problem. While trigonometrical leveling was conducted by the Jazeera Surveying Company, the two points A and B of certain rough terrain this is the point A and this is the point B where at the distance of 30 meter from each other. From these points, top of a radio signal tower was viewed. The stop reading on the benchmark from A and B were 1.377 and 1.263 respectively. The angles of elevation from A and B to the top of the tower were 11 degree 53 minutes and 8 degree 5 minutes respectively. Find the reduced level of top of the tower. If the reduced level of benchmark was 30.15 meter. Here first we have to see the staff reading. The staff reading on the benchmark from A is 1.377 and from B it is 1.263. From the station A we have a bigger value than from the station B. From that we can come to the conclusion the instrument axis at station A is higher than the instrument axis at B. 1.377 minus 1.263 we can find S yes, which is 0 0.114 meter. Also we know that S yes will be equal to H2 minus H1 Using this formula, we can find the distance d. Small d is 30. Alpha 2 is 8 degree 5 minutes. S is 0 0.114. And alpha 1 is 11 degree 53 minutes. For the distance d, we will get 60.62 meter. We can take this triangle. In this triangle, let us use tan theta formula. 10, 11 degree 53 minutes will be equal to H1 upon 60.62. In this way for H1, we will get 12.756 meter. We know that H2 minus H1 will be equal to S, yes, that is 0.114 meter. We have already found H1. We can apply that. In this way for H2, we will get 12.87 meter. Otherwise, using this formula, we can find H1. And using this formula, we can find H2. Now, we are going to find the reduced level of the top of the tower. We can do in two ways. Let us see the first method. First, we need to add the reduced level of the benchmark with the staff reading, which is taken from the station A. 
so that we will be in this line to get the top of the tower we have to add this height which is h1 in this way we will get 44.283 meter let us see the second method with the reduced level of the benchmark we have to add the staff reading which is taken from the station b so that we will be in this line then to get the top of the tower we have to add this height in this way also we will get 44.283 meter now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video